morning guys so this is a new one for the live show but I wanted to talk about therapy um, I've had times that I went into a doctor because I had pain or something going on with my body and I was always surprised at how simple the physical therapy was and how if I put my mind to it I could probably figure out how to do it myself um, and so those of you who remember when I got gored by the goat in my hand um, I had the goat horn go up under my skin and into my knuckle and I was in a lot of pain for several months and couldn't even use it. Good morning, good morning. I couldn't use my hand, I couldn't spin, I couldn't knit, I almost just couldn't function. I was in so much pain all the way up into my shoulder. Isn't she beautiful? Um, this is Kelly. So I had huge pain up my arm, I couldn't use my arm and I, did, I was like, well, I can just say, well, I'm going to have arthritis in this arm for the rest of my life, or I can start doing some research. So I researched. So I started doing research, and um, it turned out that yoga fixed it for me. I was doing yoga, and um, yeah, it was a terrible injury, and it hurt so bad, and I really couldn't function. I was really scared about it. It felt more complicated than what I could handle myself, but I thought, I'm going to try the yoga. I'm going to be mindful of what I'm doing with my body. I'm going to see if I can fix it. Uh, long story short, eight months later, I, I no longer can tell which hand. I don't remember if it's this hand or this hand that got hurt. I'd have to go back and look at the pictures. But fast forward to today. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm missing all these comments. Um, no, we haven't bought a horse. This is at a riding stable here in Idaho. What ended up happening is that with all my traveling, I damaged my hips really bad. I was sitting to drive, and then I was coming home, and I was sitting to edit so I was sitting sometimes for eight hours a day even though I was using my bouncy ball to help my hips and I noticed I had taken the girls to a riding lesson we weren't going very often once a week and I just wanted them to be learning about horses and I knew that we'd be moving and, and maybe we could we could keep the horses as part of our uh, part of our transition process to keep us outside more and I noticed when I went riding that my hips stopped hurting. And I had before that, I had been going to the chiropractor every other day because my hips were in so much pain. I couldn't walk. Um, I couldn't lay down. Everything, everything, everything hurt so bad. And so what I found was that the horses fixed my hips. And I've noticed that here in the riding stable that a lot of the people who ride are women who are my age or older. And... Um, it kind of clicked in my brain that those of us who, as we're aging, if we can find something that we love to do that helps us to age without pain, it doesn't have to be riding. For me, it's riding. I have to ride very frequently in order to be able to function. And then when I do ride frequently, I'm better than I was before I hurt my hips. So that's kind of my challenge today. I'm not going to be on here very long because I need to go riding. I haven't ridden since Friday, and I need to go ride. Um, but... I have found that, well, I could go into a doctor and say, can you give me something for this pain? This pain is intense and it won't go away. Or I can look around myself and find something where I don't, I don't need somebody to tell me what to do. I can feel what feels better. And is it not scrolling? Oh, it's not scrolling. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know you were still commenting. Um, Smallwood said, I love horses, but I'm allergic. I, when I was a kid, I had huge allergies, and it turned out by coming to the barn, even though I'd have sniffles and hives in the moment, I, it would actually make it so my other allergies were less intense. Now that I'm not terribly allergic to horses, uh, and I wasn't as a child. I was allergic to everything as a child. So everything I did, I was allergic, so I might as well do something I love. But it's different if you're super allergic to them. Um, Willow Creek said, I need to do yoga, but ju I just don't want to. Um, I found a really great app. It's called Down Dog. I don't remember if it's Down Dog or Downward Dog, but it's amazing, and you can um, gauge it according to what you want to do, and that, it doesn't cost anything. Um, I think the horse likes you. I hope the horse likes you. We, uh, likes me. We spend a lot of time together. Yeah, Smallwood Homestead says she goes hiking. That really helps. Hey, WTF Farm Girl, how are you? Yes, it's a horse. This is, this is Kelly. She's a little 11-year-old Arabian mare. And this is the stable where I learned how to ride when I was a child. And my first horse looked an awful lot like her, except that she had, a, she had more white, uh, more markings. And Kelly doesn't have very many markings. Um, so... Uh, yeah, look into the app. The yoga app is awesome. But I'm, I guess I'm just kind of saying if there's something you love that really helps your body, I think 
it's dangerous to rely on a doctor to tell you that you need pain pills and that you need to rest more. Because I, when my hips were killing me, I rested for a couple of weeks. I stopped riding. I stopped doing anything. I was going to the chiropractor every other day. It wasn't staying in. I could, I could, I could barely walk, and I was crying. I was in pain. It was terrible. And I had bones grinding on each other, and it just hurt so bad. Bluegrass found. How are you, Angela? Yeah, it makes a difference. It's really a Chihuahua dog. This is a Chihuahua dog. Yeah, she's not very big, is she? Um, so if it wasn't riding, would it be swimming? Would it be hiking? Would it be yoga? Would it be uh, golf? What would it be that would make you young again? Because, I mean, I'm not 40 yet. I turned 39 this year, next month, in fact. And I'm finding that the money that I could be putting into doctor's bills, instead I could put into something super fun that would work way better for me. This works so well for me, and it really surprises me because it's my hips that hurt. So you'd think that out there posting a trot or jumping would just cause me a lot more pain. But it's, it's been therapeutic for me. I wonder, personally, if it's just that my, uh, my core needs more strength, and if my core was tighter and stronger, if my hips would be able to move the way I need them to. So... Smallwood says she's going to be 50 next month. Good job. Here's to staying active and happy and, and not letting pills take over, not letting creakiness take over, not saying, well, I'm here, and I guess I can't do anything about it. So I am going to go ride, and I love you guys. We are on our way to the expo. That's one of the reasons I'm riding is I leave at 2 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, so in a few hours, I am on a flight out to uh, Baker's Creek up in Santa Rosa. So if you guys are close, make sure to go and see us there. We'll, we'll be there for the 11th, 12th, and 13th. Our hours will vary. And um, we're not driving. I'm flying. My, my hips can no longer take the driving. So after the last drive from Tulsa to Idaho, my hips gave out. I couldn't do it anymore. And so now I have to fly if I'm going to go because I cannot take 12-hour drives anymore. I can handle two hours at a time sitting and then I can't walk. Um, and so, and, and so know your body. I think that's the biggest thing is know your body, recognize, and don't push your body beyond what it can do in a healthy way. And, and, and recognize that some of our modern conveniences actually damage us. Maybe we should be pushing our lawnmowers instead of sitting on them. Um, when I travel, I can't travel for 12 hours. I can travel for two hours. So I have to do yoga when I get home at night if I don't have a riding stable and, and just to take responsibility for ourselves. Yeah, walking is important too. I am wearing my Dirt Patch Heaven shirt. <laughs> I have two of them left. The others, I've been on keto and the other two don't fit anymore. So I have a few that are left. Um, let's see, WTF said, stick the phone on your head and live stream your horse ride. I'll try and get some clips. I'll set it up on the, on the seating pavilion and see if I can get some clips and put them into a video here in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, you do. You have to take care of yourself. If you, you're all you got as far as like, it's the only body you get to live in. So you might as well enjoy it, enjoy it. And yes, Riding is expensive. Riding is expensive, but so are doctors. Physical therapy, I would rather ride her for physical therapy than go in and lay on my back and have somebody push on my leg. Because I enjoy this, and it's a whole body exercise. So anyway, I love you guys, and we'll talk to you later.